I'm just you don't want have, stains yeah. <laughs> on the face. Yeah, face stains. Face stains. Good band name. Right? That's true. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah, and this is Hair Me Out. Today, I'm going to get my hair dyed red. Before we get into the transformation, don't forget to subscribe below. I have wanted red hair since I was a kid. I was a huge Little Mermaid fan. She was free and she was in the water and her hair was always flowing and beautiful even when it wasn't in the water. But then I grew up and I wanted red hair, but I wanted it to be like grown up and sophisticated like Emma Stone. I love kind of the sleekness and the shiny depth of Emma's hair. I have been playing with hair dye from a box, from a bottle for years. The first time I dyed my hair, I dyed it black. I had purple, blue, orange, and then I had the darker red that I went for in college. And then I had this weird candy striper thing that happened for a while where it was like half blonde and half red and it really wasn't attractive. <laughs> It's never been what I wanted, and it never turns out the way I expect it to look. So I am so excited to get my hair professionally colored. Kind of reminds me of pumpkin pie a little bit like before it's cooked, and like before I put an entire container of cinnamon in it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Anyway, all right, all right, all right. I think that some of my trepidation about my hair color right now is just that I've had it for so long. I am the kind of person who likes to change things up. I like to look differently and change my style. Like I never wear the same thing twice and I like to experiment and it's just really been a while for me to play with my hair. I'm at this point in my life where I am reinventing myself creatively and professionally and a change in my physical appearance I think will help me get there mentally and will kind of put me in a new headspace and allow me to start new. I think it will look good, but I have heard that red hair is particularly hard to take care of, and I'm kind of scared about how the texture is gonna change. And I do just have to remind myself that at the end of the day, if I don't like it, it's just hair, it will grow back. I definitely used hair dye and color to try to find myself. I'm a big believer in getting my confidence from the outside in. If I feel like I look shabby or if I'm kind of used to the same thing that I look like, I don't have that confidence. When I look good, I feel good and I can walk into rooms more confident and I can charge at life with everything I've got. I think that I'm going to feel like a whole new person. And that's really exciting for me. I love the feeling of waking up and seeing something new. And I really do think that I'll be re-energized to do fun stuff with my hair. I think that I'm gonna be more creatively jazzed. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I love it. What do you think? I don't I, I don't even I don't even I don't even know. It's beautiful. So good. It looks really good. Oh my god. Look okay. at how much it makes your eyes pop. 
It's crazy. I feel like a totally different person. I love this hair. It's bold. It's sophisticated. It's creative. After experimenting for so long, I finally look on the outside the way that I feel on the inside. This hair gives me power. It gives me strength. It gives me the confidence that I need. Thanks for watching. If you have an idea for Hair Me Out, comment below. To watch more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here. Uh. Floaty, floaty, floaty. Buttons, buttons, buttons. <laughs> okay.